Obamacare and still few explanations for all the technical glitches. Some experts worry fixing it could take a very long time. And CNN's Elizabeth Cohen has been trying unsuccessfully to set up an account and has this report. I put in my username and password and it didn't recognize it. Error messages, page not found, system down. It's been a tough nearly two weeks for Obamacare. There were error messages or that little annoying kind of like twirly thing. Hate <laughs> <laughs> it, it, right? I've been trying since day one to get an account and log in on healthcare.gov. I failed again. We couldn't make this page work. And again. It wouldn't log me in. And again. It's not working. When I've called the 1-800 number for help, the reps tell me volume is high and to try again during off-peak hours. So I tried at 10.30 at night, 7 in the morning, and still it didn't work. So finally, I set my alarm clock for 3 a.m. Sunday morning. But guess what? The system was down for maintenance. I'm not the only one having trouble. On Facebook, people took to the healthcare.gov page to vent by the thousands. And on CNN's iReport... I've tried it hundreds, literally hundreds of times since October the 1st. Independent analysts tell CNN the problems go way beyond high volume and minor glitches. They say the site fails to follow even basic protocols in its coding. There is always the old-fashioned option of enrolling over the phone and using snail mail. And you do have time. To be insured by January 1st, you just have to complete the process by December 15th. Elizabeth Cohen, CNN, reporting.